big hefty piece of moss on that. Hey everybody, welcome to our first podcast. This is uh, the fishing podcast. Yeah, let's just call it that for right now because honestly, working progress title. Yeah, it's a work in progress title. We're at the world's most stupidest lake, Moss Home Lake. lake. Home Lake, Colorado, baby, home of the moss. All right, it doesn't get any better than this. And uh, yeah, we're fishing. You should be able to hear me uh, fish right now. In fact, we gamers, man. We just fish. Yeah, we we don't uh, we don't like uh, playing video games as much as we like fishing. You know. I've never even fished before today. Yeah, he actually he hasn't. All right, I'm the one that got him hooked on it. Let me. It's just like anime, you know. Your friend recommends it, you get into it, and then, well, here you are. Dude, you only like one anime. Yeah, I know, I like JoJo's. Because all the other ones are fucking weird. But anyways, JoJo is pretty weird, but like, your shit, man? I don't know, bro. Nah, man. I remember one time I had a friend over to my house. Your shit's fishy as fuck, bro. I'm gonna make so many goddamn fish puns, but anyways, please continue. Yeah, so one time I had my friend over, right? Came to my house. I swear to God, it was like 9 p.m. My parents left to go get stuff from Safeway. He pulled up hentai. What? On his phone. No, seriously? You seriously. Kidding. So, true story. Now, for privacy purposes, I won't tell you which friend. But I think if you know me and my friends well enough. Which we don't because we're listening to a podcast. We right. don't even know what but you like, look like. But like, Hayden would be able to tell because I can tell him that he rages in video games all the time. Dead ass, he put that shit. Oh my god! First time he came over to my house. I'm not even kidding you. My god, that man. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go a little bit on a rant here. Um, I want to talk about Home Lake. So these, this wonderful community here at Monta Vista, Colorado. All right, it's a beautiful home place. Yes, home to the fishing podcast. It's a beautiful place. Okay, uh, we've got a. What do we have? We have cranes. I guess we got deer. And we got We home got lake. fish. Yes, we've got home lake. The crown jewel of your Monta Vista experience, right? You can't experience Monta Vista without coming here to home lake. Now, one thing I want to tell you all about home lake. This place sucks. It's all right? so bad. It is bad. All well, right? I, mean, I would say if I fished before. Tell them what you think about it. This guy hasn't even fished before, and he can tell you how bad it is. I mean, I got moss. Yes. That's all a man really needs in this world, bro. If you ain't catching fish, you catch a moss. Just saying. Oh, shit, I might have had a bite. But anyway. So I'm going to I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna start a discussion Aww. here. Not regarding Home Lake. What, what happened? I thought I got something to catch moss again. Yeah, if you catch anything before me, man, you're going to be in that water. I'll chuck you in that water. It makes for good podcast content, though. Yeah, it would. So what is what is your uh, what is your opinion on Joe Rogan since we're doing podcasts? <laughs> what do you really want me to go over my opinion on Joe Rogan? Well, again? I'm just gonna say it right now. I don't care about the guy. I'm, right? I'm here to start controversy, hot and fast, on our first episode of the podcast. And I'm here to tell you, Joe Rogan can suck my 2.1 inch. Right? I still don't know. I don't know much about Joe Rogan other than he smokes weed, and I don't even know if he does that. He just sucks. Like, in general. Hmm. So, what do, I mean, we gotta stop asking questions here, because, like, we gotta come up with some good discussion. And well, quick. I think, you know, good discussion for a podcast is really not based around questions. It's based around what comes up in the moment. Okay, like, my favorite up, type of mod, this stuff right here, it's, it's like, it's like a, it's like, it's like that crap from Spore when you first like start a, the it game. It looks like a Venus flytrap. Yeah. So just to visualize what we're looking at here, I know it's a podcast. I don't think we're technically supposed to do that. But this stuff looks like, you know when you first start Spore and you're like a herbivore and shit and you're like eating that weird stuff off those plants? That's what this plant looks like. I've All right, I didn't think Spore. What? Never. Never played Spore? Never played Spore? No, I, I came over to your house once and you were playing it. But I, I, I didn't get the opportunity to. Yeah, because I was a little bitch. And anyway, I mean, you still are in some ways. No, you're a bitch. Dude, how the fuck did it, I literally catch straw? What's next? A goddamn boot? Goddamn, how? I can't even get this shit off the lure. Yeah, well. Oh God, it's literally just like a piece of hay. Yes, that's what I was saying, bro. 
So, just for our just for our audio listeners, um, I have cast probably I'm gonna say 30 times, and 30 times I've brought up moss. And it's literally same with me, except this time I got something pretty unusual. I managed to catch a piece of hay. I think it's barley, but I'm not sure. I'm not a farmer. One thing I want to say, though, is that the sunsets here are real beautiful, you know? Oh, man. Nowhere beats Colorado, I don't think. Yeah. Some people will probably say Wyoming, but that doesn't exist. That's kind of yeah. gang cringe. Yeah. You know where I would totally love to live, though? Like, deadass? What? i totally go to Hawaii. Hawaii is cool and all, but, like, man, centipedes wig me the fuck out, dude. Dude, I'm not scared of bugs, all right? And I love tropical climates. I've actually never been to one. But from what I've seen, all right, they look so cool. All right, now the most I've ever gotten to a tropical climate is probably Vail, Colorado, because that shit was fucking wet as fuck. But it was, you know, Colorado. Actually, I take that back. You know what? I'll just, I think San Diego, did you get some? Man, you're really in it right now. I think you got some. Piece of shit. Anyways. Nah, it's moss. <laughs> I would totally live in Hawaii, man. I just love, I love how it rains there the all the time. Cast. Dude, I, that's moss, what we gotta got call it. We're calling it the moss cast. Dude, I got moss on my hand. I got moss on my pants, bro. I got moss on my balls. That's kind of sus, but anyway. I remember one time I tried to go swimming out here, and my uh, my older my older sister got covered in moss that looked like a leaf, and we all started freaking out. What are you talking about? I don't think it was moss that made it look like that. No, it was. It was like some black moss, dude, and it looked like it was like, and it was stuck there, so we thought it was a leaf, and we all started freaking out, right? I just insulted your sister and you acted like I didn't mean to. What a nice friend, folks. You see right here? Well, it's also because I don't particularly like her, but we'll, we'll strike <laughs> we'll strike that from the record. All right. So what what do you what is your favorite climate? Like, what is? Are you a tropical kind right of guy? Here. Or? Look, as someone that used to live in New Mexico, oh my God, it was awful. I don't remember much from my time in New Mexico because we left when I was like three. But I do remember how hot it would get. Really? Oh my god, it was so bad, dude. And the scorpions? Look, man, Rocky Like a Hurricane's a good song, but when you see one in your shoe, look. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen a scorpion. So my brother's down in Texas uh, with this church thing, like this Christian group thing. Which and one? there's a, the one where <laughs> supposed to be. Are they not there? I don't know. I want you to a bit or real short still. Dude, you know, I don't know if we should be saying his real name, but he's probably still five foot. Well, no, but dude, there's so much in the world. I'll just redact it, though. So everybody listening, if you heard a, an which is also redacted, that's that's who we're talking about is... is uh, so. And we'll put, like, bleeps here? Yeah. Well, that's the idea, is that we're going to put bleeps over so... Yo, that's a dragonfly! Oh, that was sick! Dude, there's so many. There's dragonfly babies down there if you go get in the water. I've had them land on me in the water there, dude. They get tired of swimming and shit. They look like little shrimps. It's funny. Right. But they're ugly as fuck, bro. I'm slowly wheeling it back here. And I'm willing to bet you. You got a fish. Off. You got a fish. Do I? Yeah. Pull it in. <laughs> it's moss, dude. <laughs> You're messing with me. It's some good hefty moss. That's, that's, like a, a, that's like the best that's set like of moss. That's like a five-star moss. moss. That looks actually edible. I'd take a taste out of that if it wasn't moss. Yeah. Ugh. Dude, that's my least favorite part. I'm going to try to bring it up and it just splashes on me. Ugh. But, you know, that's just how it goes. You know, if it would rain every day, my life would be so fine. But it doesn't. It's always so goddamn hot. You know, it's like my favorite green clear water revival song. You could ask a five-year-old in Monica, Colorado, have you ever seen the rain? And their answer would be no. Actually, their their answer would be yes, once in a blue moon. You know. Speaking of songs. Do you ever think there's too many, like there's too many genres of music now? No. I think it's like sexuality. Oh, I think I got Which I'm something. not even going to get into because that's a bad road to go down and I'm going to have to cut that out. But no, I, I, I really do God think... God damn it! I think that having a, a lot of genres is okay, but when you start, like, dividing them up into, like... Okay, so you got synthwave, you got astrowave, and, like... 
what? What the hell is that? Ooh, I don't know, is that a cricket or what is that, dude? This motherfucker just caught a cricket. Out of home with it. So, if you want to catch anything that isn't a fish, I'm just waiting to catch my first boot here. <laughs> Literally fish up a dead body before you fish up a fish. Damn, I got something real heavy. I better go down there and pick it up. Must be a real big fish. I think that's a clip from my grandpa. Oh, uh, of 2009. <laughs> you know what we should do eventually? Is we should, uh, we should do, what's that one guy on YouTube who does the, uh, what are they called, man? He, like, goes underwater the, and, like, finds stuff. And a lot of times he yeah, finds, like, climbs. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Well, we could go into here and probably find a car. And maybe some barrels of oil or some shit. I mean, the possibilities are really endless here, I feel like. You know? Except for fish. Yeah, well, there is no fish in here. I have a feeling I have a feeling that's a lie. But you know what's stupid? Is that sometimes... I've seen people catch them by the dozen here, right? And legally, they're not even supposed to. But they still manage to do it. Like, I've never catched a fish here. In my whole 18 years of fishing here, alright? I've been fish uh, fishing since I came out of the womb here. All right, and I haven't found a single goddamn fish. I don't even know why I'm still here. Well, to hang out with your buddy and record a podcast. Exactly. Please Next like episode. and subscribe. This Please is the like Moss. Please like and subscribe. We're gonna Moss podcast. That's what we're calling it. The Moss cast, if you will. Yes, the Moss cast. And so, we'll be fishing every time we do one of these. Hopefully, at a different fucking location. This place and you'll sucks. you'll get to see me progressively get better at fishing. Right now he's using my uh, old pole, which, how's it working? Bad. Still? I put lubricant on it. No, it's that's, fine. That's working okay now. Like, you actually got range. He swings this shit like Harry Potter. No, I don't. Yes, you do. I've seen you. You're like Liver Guardian Leviosa, and then he just, he just flies and goes in the water. Oh, you cast that like you're throwing a big stick. Look what I'm working with here. <laughs> For I've got audio, a big for stick. For our audio listeners, it is a big stick. It is it's quite actually, literally, that pole is almost as tall as, it's taller than he is. <laughs> and he's like six foot, so. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, mine is like any, half any the length are, of my torso. Any ladies that want to hook up here at Home Lake, I'm all for it, baby. We can go in the trees and. Don't hook up with him at Home Lake. It'll be the greatest regret of your life. You'll do it, right? And then you'll you'll come out and there'll be moth in your hole. So. Uh. You know what? Yeah, never mind. Uh, look, listen. If, if you're not in Monta Vista and you're listening to this, do not come here. This is a word of warning. Sure, we've got some nice stuff every once in a while, like uh, Chapman Park's okay, um, and, uh, and the library. And that's it. I, I'm not exaggerating. That is it. That is all. You know, we were actually on a top ten list. We were the worst city in Colorado. Worst Which town. We don't even count as a city. Which, by the way, okay, that's false, although it's almost true. I would say Manassa. They say our crime rates are bad, all right? I've only been mugged maybe five times, all right? Now, what can you say about Chicago, all right? Chicago, you get mugged like ten times per day, all right? Time you're coming home, you're literally don't even have underwear on here, all right? At least here you have your shoes, and that's all I can say. Yeah, it's a, it's a real nice place. Yeah, I love when you have to, I literally have a 22 in my door, you know? Just in case some person tries to act up, you it's know? It's moth again. It's not, I, I, every that's time. That's a fish. Look at it, it's moving around, it's freaking. No, it's not. If you catch like a fucking snake in here, dude, I'm going to be so impressed. Uh-oh. I don't even think there is water snakes in here. Is it broken? Hold yeah, on, let me see it. Good. Repair specialist Hayden Obrick at command. I'm just gonna have to redact your last name though. Oh yeah, no, all that should be redacted. Don't worry, folks. If you hear a bleep, that means that it's probably somebody that we don't want to. Do. I fucked it up so bad. I actually got it loose, and then I managed to fuck it up. So I guess we're going home. <laughs> That's it, folks. That's the podcast. Holy shit. It can't be that bad. Oh, man. It's bad, dude. It's fucking... I want you to pull on this and then hold it. it. Yeah, hold it so that... It, or, yeah. That way I have... Look at that, bro. I made a fucking knot.
God dang it. Oh, uh, thanks. Well, that is a nut right there, sir. Now, the only person whose name we're not going to redact from this is Todd. Well, because Todd is such a... Todd is the average American man. Yes. Like, if you were to ask Todd how much hours of sleep he gets a night, how whatever, it would be the exact answer, right? Does he play video games? Yes. And you would look at the average, right? And all the answers would align with Todd. Todd is, um, like, an SVP. I don't even know how to... Like, he's... He's something else, man. He's something else. <gasps> oh, rat ass, bro. What happened? You're fucking full, dude. I need to replace the fine on this thing. I think that's part of your issue. That lit, look at how it's splintering. I don't even think plastic's supposed to splinter like yeah, wood. Let's try and get this out of here. Not nah, here. Let me see it. Actually, yeah. Let me get this shit out. Well, folks, that was a uh, Mothcast brought to you by Allstate. I mean, it doesn't have to end here. This is staying. No, we got a pack up anyway. This fucking stupid pole, man. Look at all the boogers that are on it. You know what? I'm just going to leave them on here, and they, they can dry, and then it'll be a good yummy breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> okay. I'm not even kidding you, if this is still recording. I have moss on my pants. And these are like my work pants. Like the ones I wear into uh, into my inter internship shit. And I've got moss on yes. my hands, my pants, and my shoes. This guy literally work, uh, wore fucking like casual pants out to fish. I wore, I wore khakis out to fish. I'm literally in jeans right now. He's got fucking, what are those, Adidas on? What yeah. even are those? Yeah, bro, they're Adidas shoes. Oh, God. Are those for running, or what the fuck are those for? I have no idea. They're just right. the most comfortable shoes I own. So take this, make sure that this doesn't get wrapped up, and or actually, I'm going to take it off right now. That way you don't have to worry about it. Because I need to replace all that line, and so that'll be our restoration project next time on MossCast. Um, I hope like y'all hope y'all enjoyed watching. I probably got watching. a fishing rod in my house somewhere. Probably it. Oh, that one's far better than whatever you have, even though it's Yeah, but I mean, shitty. it wouldn't have been used. So, so, thanks for watching, y'all. I don't think this thing been recording. Okay, I guess it has been. Uh, thank y'all for watching. Uh, for listening, too, because you're not really... Yes, listening. Video. Uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye. To you later. Bye. To you later.